Well, hey guys, Backwaters and Backroads here. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are doing an impromptu camping trip overnight to the mouth of the Huron River. I have my inflatable dinghy in the back of the car here, which I call my metal tent. And I loaded my motor. I got my trusty beagle. And we are going to go out to the Huron Islands, those two islands that are a couple miles off of shore uh, in Lake Superior there, and one of them has a lighthouse on it. I've never been there. I imagine most of you haven't either, and I've been wanting to see it. So I took a break from my hundred different projects I've always got going on. Um, I was reminded of a, a quote today from a book from the 90s, uh, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. It's actually a bestseller, and it was a pretty decent book, actually. Um, and it said, accept that your inbox is never empty. And I always thought that was really insightful. And it's true. If you're trying to get ahead of everything you got to do, uh, you'll never do it. And, you know, if you're waiting, if you're postponing fun and joy and adventure uh, for when your inbox is empty, um, you'll never get to it. So I have to remind myself of that. And I'm reminding you of that now. So let's do this. Load up the car. This is about as spontaneous and compulsive as you can get, <laughs> which is <laughs> one of my specialties. So, okay, guys, we're on islands. Let's do it. Okay guys, so I'm here at the mouth of the Huron River. I got the dinghy filled up, I got the motor on it, and it's a little late this evening to take the trip over, so I'm gonna wait till the morning, and hopefully the, the lake will stay in great shape like it is now. Um, but I'm probably gonna take the boat out just for like a little 20 minute cruise up and down the beach here, and make sure everything's working like it should for tomorrow. So let's just do that right now. Okay guys, so I didn't know this. It might just be a time of year thing, but uh, the, the Huron River here, the mouth doesn't really go out to the lake. It's probably because it's low. You know, it hasn't been raining much this summer. I'll bet you in the spring, it does go out into the lake and you could get across a bar of some sort. I've heard people have done it. But uh, yeah, here's the, here's the Huron River. That's the mouth right there, which is really nothing just a trickle and then it goes out into the lake here so but uh, yeah it's pretty I'm gonna turn the phone around lots of people pronounce her on different her in her on you know guys now that I've walked over here to the the mouth 
I think someone probably could get in here in a pinch. Um, they'd probably have to get out and drag their boat through, but it could probably be done. It's deep enough. It's got a couple of feet. It's the width would be the trick, but uh, I bet you I could get the bay liner in here. And then once you're through, you're fine. That'd be kind of fun. I'm always, I always like to, like, get into places that no one else can go or won't dare. <laughs> Maybe I'll try it. Okay, guys. Well, we're back at the metal tent. I'm probably just going to watch a movie tonight and listen to the waves and work on a video from a past adventure while we're having a current one. So, tomorrow we will hit the Huron Islands. Okay guys, welcome. Huron Islands. First time being here. This is awesome. It's I love places like this. I've been sitting here thinking to myself as I'm tying up the dinghy and putting my boots on. Just what it is about places like this that just, I, it's hard to explain. I don't know. It's, I guess you just got to kind of know. You can't put it into words, but for me, it's, it just feels like the, it's not the right word, but I kind of feel safe. I feel safe in places like this, safe, secure, and not necessarily, you know, from in the traditional sense of those words. I just... I just, uh, I just feel close to the source, you know? Yeah, I'm doing a bad job explaining it, but come here and I'll bet you you'd feel the same. Okay guys, I'm gonna try my selfie stick here a little bit just to give you a little more perspective. So, um, yeah, here we are, Huron Islands. Uh, I had no, I didn't do any research, I never do. I like to just make it all a big mystery when I show up to a place. Um, there's that saying from somebody that basically, paraphrasing, that when you're the adventurer, um, every, every place is a new frontier or everything is a new discovery or the undiscovered country. So, of course, a lot of people have gotten here before me, but when I don't do a lot of over-research on a place, it just kind of feels like I'm discovering it for the first time. So, I don't know. Works for me. Uh, it looks like there's a trail to the lighthouse, so we're going to explore that. But first, I'm going to show you this building right behind me. So let's check this out, guys. 
This looks like a boathouse that, I don't know, Park Service must have used at one time, or I, you know, I, <clears throat> I should look up what the history of this, these islands are. Um, even Isle Royal wasn't always uh, Park Service, you know, it used to be private, or it used to just be kind of open territory before the age of, you know, fencing everything off and labeling it something that, meaning you can't use it, but these are the tracks that came out of the water. They probably had some kind of pulley system inside. We'll take a look in a second. I've seen stuff like this before. And this building is made out of concrete, it looks like. Really industrial and old. And they used to pull their boats out. Let's see what the sign says here. Baby the gravy. I was kind of worried to get here and it said like no dogs and you know, whatever. But it says Huron National Wildlife Refuge wilderness area what is allowed is hiking wildlife viewing enjoying respecting historic buildings what you can't do is hunt can't have fires and no camping which we can live with that so um, Huron National Wildlife Refuge includes eight small islands I didn't know that all of the islands are federally designated wilderness areas this island called Lighthouse Island or West Huron Island is open to the public during daylight hours. All other islands are closed to public entry. I didn't know that. So, looks like this might be the only one we're gonna look at, guys. Who knows, maybe we'll go rogue. Let's take a peek inside the building here and see what they did. Yeah, so there's the pulley system. The age of freedom. Just a bunch of fishermen get together and live on an island. Green meat. You got a little bridge in the middle of nowhere. There it is. Look at the view. Wow. Here's an example of that amazing rock work that you only see in the past. I mean, I suppose someone's doing it now, but it just takes so much time and so much skill that uh, people just can't do anymore. I mean, there's probably just no profit margin unless you're building a house for a billionaire or something, or for the federal government maybe. Beautiful. Built to last a thousand years. It's like a castle. Sometimes these places are hard to get a good perspective on and get a good picture of because of where the location is. But I think I found a good one right here for you guys. So here's the other main island 
I guess there's eight of them. I guess they call these little sub islands islands also, but this is the one that the sign says you can't go to. So I guess we'll just have to look at it from afar. Now my guess is this building was probably Lighthouse Keeper's uh, quarters. Um, sometimes I've, so I've noticed that some of the lighthouses, the quarters were attached to the lighthouse itself, but uh, some of them had separate quarters. So that's my best guess on this one, though it's made of wood, which tells me that it probably was built later. You know, I'll see if I can find some more information before I post this video. Now this might be a runner up for the outhouse with the best view. You know, guys, when I visit places like this, I always ask myself, would you have been a good lighthouse keeper? And I think the answer is yes. I think I would have loved jobs like this. I think I'd be ecstatic if I got a paycheck to live out on an island like this. I don't think I'd want to do it myself. I mean, I would. I'd do it by myself if I had to, but... Uh, I bet it would be awesome to have a good woman that wanted to be out here like this with you and a family, kids, where they grew up just in peace and quiet and kind of detached from all the craziness, you know. This would have been a really good life right here. We've even got a few raspberries here. Hmm. This way, this way, let's go. Okay guys, well, that was a Huron Island Lighthouse. That's pretty neat. I hope it transferred over on film. So now we're gonna head back over to the mainland and we'll see what next adventure comes our way. <laughs> Load up. Load up. <laughs>